Early in the week, he looked like the perfect victim of a racially motivated crime. But with the release of some video, David Dong, the owner of the Blends at Kelowna's Innovation Center, instead looked like the perfect villain. But he says neither is the case. But he took the time to speak to Kelowna now about how a situation got out of control and how it now threatens the future of his business. The camera actually shows this go that way, but the lady was disappeared right. in, yeah, in the right. in the scenes already. So because she's telling me like you go back to your country, fucking yellow, kinds of those kind of bad words. So I just try to express my anguish, like shut up. You know, it was not to her at all. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a different way, totally. So, a few things there. Number one, you look at the video, and there's no audio there. No one can hear these racial slurs, but the, but this was getting to you, the thing that, that she was saying. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, you can see her hand, you know, going like this. Yeah, she said, go back to her country. And then when I asked her to leave, she, like, she, on the way she walked out, she was keep talking to me, like, keep abusing me. Right. Yeah. So uh, we'll probably get to some of this violence in a minute, but uh, another thing that isn't clear looking at the video is, excuse me, Nick, is the, the items that she was throwing at you. So you had tossed the, these, uh, this plastic yes. cup, yeah. but what she's throwing back is this? I mean, that? Yeah. This is like super, super heavy, and I could be killed when she threw those to me, right? And then she, she threw two of those on me. So two of those, yeah. and, then, and then she went on to to throw some of these? Yeah, she actually threw eight of those to me, like this and the mugs. They are pretty heavy, though. you know. Yeah. Um, if one of these hit my head, I lost my mind, uh, you know, I lie on the ground, and then is that possible in that kind of situation? Right. You know, she's gonna grab a piece of glass and then just kill me. Okay, still um, there's some, some troubling things we, we see. Um, well. One, uh, to your point, there, there seemed to be opportunities as this started to escalate for her to go out the door. But on a few occasions, she circles back in and she's knocking things off your shelves. But you need to ex explain it. It might be difficult for you to explain any circumstances that wouldn't look bad for you, that you're now, you've got her on the ground, you're on top of her, and you're hitting her. That looks bad, no matter how you explain it. Um, be honestly, you know, when I look this thing back, I have to say I didn't do it perfectly. But I mean, I'm not a person who trained as a police officer or somebody else. I'm just a businessman here, just making money, right? I've been in the neighborhood in uh, over seven, eight years. And, you know, I, I consider when she threw those to me at the beginning, I consider this is threatening my life already. Let me ask you this. Have you ever struck a woman before this instance? No, no, never. Of course, never. No, no. This was a terrible set of circumstances. You, you felt in the moment that you were handling it as best you could? Um, I have to say, in general, I think I did already. You know, um, I didn't do, like, I didn't use any weapons. I didn't touch anything to touch her at all. I only used my body. Uh, but I mean, I could do better, right? Uh, to you know, calm down the situation, of course. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, again, I'm not a perfect person, though. There was a window broken, cup smash. You'll fix all that. But I guess whether or not you survive as a business is what kind of hangs in the balance for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, l luckily I'm, I'm still here. But the thing is, you know, how bad my business is because when people see the, the story from the public media. My customers not coming anymore.